commandments, they said the same thing again. All that you say, Lord, we're going to do. We have to remember that whoever makes the promise has to supply the righteousness. If God makes the promise, He will supply the righteousness. Let's let Him work in us and through us. That's my prayer for each one of us, is to allow God to, to work in us and through us. And I want to finish with a... And this, this book will be back in the library when I'm, when I'm done with it. Kind of. Friends with God. Do you want to be friends with God? In this parable of Jesus, the necessary steps have been carefully obtained, uh, carefully outlined. The closest of friendships is offered to those who are willing to unite themselves to the vine. To abide in Him and to continue abiding in Him. The inevitable result of this union will be friendship with God. When you see this final text that we are emphasizing in this study of the vineyard, don't look, it, don't look at it and say, okay, if I want to be friends with God, I have to start keeping all the commandments. You know, I have so much more to say. If, if we uh, allow God to come in us and work in us, what Jesus came to do is He came to die for the sin condition. And if we allow Him to come into us and take care of the condition inside of us, that will take care of the sinning. Because it said, if Jesus lives in you, you will not sin. Amen. That's uh, John chapter 3, verses 6 and verses 9. If Jesus lives in you, you will not sin. If you sin, you need to question if He's in you. And it also says in chapter 1 or 2 that if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, Amen. we can go to. No, I'm not saying I'm sin. Anybody's thinking that. Because it also says that the man that says that he is without sin is a liar. But what the Adventist, why the Adventist church is a church or is a movement is because it is a movement that is to prepare a people for Jesus' second coming. And when Jesus comes the second time, there will be a people on this earth that are living without sin. You will never know that you're living without sin because you will always measure yourself uh, up against Jesus. We will always fall short. We will never know that we are sinless. You, you, if, if you think that way, you need to rethink it. And all these studies that I've done have led me to this point. And, and you have to do your own study. And you should never take my word for anything I'm telling you. You should look these things up for yourself. Do not take my word for it. I could lie to you very easily. Except with Linda, she would call me on it. <laughs> anyway. And there's a few other people in here who would call me on it. What is the command? The command is to abide in Him. He did not command us to bear fruit. Jesus never commanded us to bear fruit. Our pull weeds. Our produce life in the branches. If we try to pull the weeds... How can, a, how can a plant pull a weed? I mean, we're, we're part of the vine. We can't pull the weeds. Only the, the husbandman, the brine dresser, can pull the weeds. He has commanded us to abide in Him through this union with Him. All that is necessary for salvation and for His glory will be accomplished. So, what is He asking us to do? He's asking us to abide. I submit to you that it's easier to abide in Christ than it is to go through life without Him. It's easier to be in a boat with Jesus in a storm or safer than to be in the calm of life without Him. Not only that, but we will find the highest of all gifts and privileges to be ours, friendship with God Himself. May this be your experience today as you seek to abide in Him. 
And if you read Romans chapter 1, excuse me, Romans chapter 5, and I'm going to close with this. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God. So the first blessing of justification by faith is peace. Peace with God. And that's the best kind of peace. Nobody can take that from you. Let's uh, allow the Father to do the works in us. We have to hit, our, when our feet hit the floor in the morning, we have to turn every decision, experience, and temptation over to God. Because if we don't, we're going to grab the reins ourselves. And when, we grab, when I grab the reins for myself, the day does not go too well. Our closing song is number 340.